Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2021 and a half Volkswagen Atlas SEL R-Line. This particular one is deep black pearl effect. It's also four motion. It features keyless entry on all four doors, 21 inch Brazelton R-Line wheels at the base. Also body colored paint below that chrome line right there from the bumper all the way up to the front. The R-Line badge right there on the door as you can see right there the more aggressive air intakes on the front the LED lights continue into the uh, three rib design on the front there that's the new Volkswagen logo there uh, the R-Line front end uh, of course is piano black with a splash of chrome right there the regular Atlas does not get that they both will share this nice bold line it goes out of the headlights into the wheel arch under uh, the door handles and includes that R line badge all the way back to the wheel arch again and then under the tail lights. Chrome roof rails, chrome window sills, tinted windows on the rear windows. The front two windows are the only windows that aren't tinted. You have an oversized reflected air, large chrome strip underneath the tail lights there quad full exhaust tips two over here two over here and then a tow hitch right here this particular one does not have uh, the tow hitch package so you're going to still need a seven pin adapter for that hitch there easy kick open hatch and as you hear a plane fly overhead i remind you you can fly in and drive out i'll pick you up at the airport we're right off the approach for lambert international let's take a look inside this one we open the door and look inside here this is that Shetland beige interior with three seat memories memory seats or three uh, memory seats three button memory seats I can't talk today and then also you have a lumbar support forward and back and a uh, seat back adjust here uh, they're also going to be black in color uh, over here on the door you have Shetland insets as well as the Shetland padding and a Shetland armrest here um, all the buttons are going to be black with chrome accents on the tips here this is a heated seat, uh, and it's also, um, as I said, a three-seat memory. I'm going to turn that fan down there. Now, you do also have navigation on this one here. Navigation. Woo! As we turn that radio on there, uh, I'm going to show nav over on an instrument cluster here for you. You just go through the menu here, display on instrument cluster, and now it's going to come over here. So, I do have this three uh, three different settings for the display right here. This is the dial screen. There is the wide screen and then there is the crop screen. I'll do the wide screen most of the time on my Atlas and absolutely love it that way. I'm also able to zoom in and zoom out with these arrows right here. My heated steering wheel is up here. Very nice setup here. Temperature gauge over here. Fuel gauge over here on this side dynamic road sign display that's what this little 10 mile an hour sign is right there it's a flat bottom leather wrapped steering wheel that's also heated as i said before flat silver finish on the on the steering wheel here with the piano black finish right here and you do have automatic headlights and then also a coin box for storage right here with those automatic headlights you also have all weather lights which are replacing fogs and then you also have uh, led running lights as well this being an R line, you're going to have this fancier wheel right here uh, with the uh, the uh, kind of sport grip at nine and three. It's a telescoping steering wheel. Pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it wherever you want. And then down below, chrome covered pedal caps down there. And I'm wearing snowflake socks today, as you can see whoop, right there. MIB3 radio. What you have new for this is uh, gesture control. And on this nav screen while I'm on it, there's a status bar that sets up right here. It shows you how close to your destination you are, where you are along your destination. Uh, it's AM, FM, and satellite radio uh, with 36 memory presets and gesture control. So I can actually swipe and get my uh, uh, presets to come up that way. Um, I do also have wireless app connect which allows me to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink um, wirelessly. The phone can be in my pocket. Uh, also, I have a very, very good uh, backup camera with trajectory steering. The yellow line signifies where I'm headed with the steering wheel. The green line stays uh, in, indicates straight back, and the red line indi indicates where the bumper is. 
Uh, with that uh, backup camera, I can also bring it up on demand by pushing this button here for Park Pilot. That brings it up in this manner with the sensor uh, uh, sensor detecting uh, lines that show up on the screen here. Um, I can also turn that off. Um, then you do have um, car settings here. The car settings are going to give you stats. Uh, and there's a menu of items here that you can do. You can also get to the digital cockpit here and change things. So you can change what's displayed um, by changing modes. You can change uh, what's displayed in your instrument cluster. Very nice that it does that. You just go back to auto and then it's there. Um, also, this is an all wheel drive version of 4Motion. So you're gonna have this little knob right here. By turning it to the snow mode, you get snow here. Turning it back to the roadway, I get uh, Eco, Normal, Sport, and Custom. And then I also have Off-Road and Off-Road Custom. Off-Road Custom is gonna allow me to tweak things and turn things on and off. Um, and uh, I can do sport mode on the steering and adaptive cruise control. Um, I can change those things. And just by turning this knob back to the roadway, now I'm back here. And I can also push this button here and get uh, these to change without uh, getting fingerprints on the screen. Eco is going to be, of course, your most economical. Uh, this radio is super, super clean here. Only two buttons or two knobs. So you've got... Um, this knob here and this knob, everything else is going to be touchscreen. Dual climate so, uh, control here uh, up front, and then you have a third zone in the back. I can also turn on um, air care. Air care is your air filtration system. Um, and there's a little blue line that will expand here and show you that. Um, as it expands, it's filtering out allergens and pollutants in the air. Uh, then you do also have... Uh, rear settings and front settings so you can adjust fan speed um, temperature I'm gonna raise the temperature here a bit all right and then I do uh, have the capability of turning that back off right there the rest button the rest button is going to allow uh, the, the fan to continue to blow whatever residual air is left in the system when I go inside maybe a quick trip or a mobile or something like that to get some uh, snacks or something like that um, it doesn't continue to run air conditioned air. It's just whatever air is left in the system. It's going to blow it while you're out of the car. Storage bin right here and speaker set up right here. The SEL and SEL Premium will have that. SE Tech and below. Sorry guys, you don't have that speaker there. Uh, but a little storage bin here. Uh, carbon fiber finish right here. If you don't go with uh, an R line, you're going to get wood grain interior right there. In the glove box here. Room for storage right here. No CD player. No SD card readers. However, they kept the SD card holders. Not sure why they did that, but you have those. There's a look at those leatherette seats. They're heated. If you move up to the premium, you'll get heated and ventilated real leather seats. Leatherette right here as well. Bold white stitching on all of it right here on the bolsters and also here on the armrest. Inside here, this car is actually sold. This is our paper saying that this car sold. Um, but you have a USB-C connection right here. Two USB-C connections here and a 12 volt and also wireless charging there so I can actually put my phone right down here and it will charge even with a Mophie case on it it's gonna pop up on the screen there there you go and it's charging this one comes with the home link mirror like all the uh, edgeless auto dimming mirror with a digital compass right there on the end remote control for three door garage door memory there then you do have um, vanity mirror with a LED light above on each passenger and the driver's side mirror vanity light there as well panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade that power sunshade there is designed to keep the sun off of you uh, so you're not getting the sun beating down on you this is also tinted glass though so there is a tint to this and I just wanted to show you this sunshade closing. Uh, usually I have it closed and I open it. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to open the sunroof as well. So that goes all the way back to there. That covers the entire second row. So the first and second row passengers are all under glass. Pop-up windscreen right there. Nice look at that there. Uh, you do have the light gray headliner here. Um, and then you do have Carnet free for five years on this car. Let's take a look at the back here. 
This one comes in at 48, 48, whoops, 48,825. Extras are going to include an MDO package right here for 810 bucks, which includes auto damming rear view mirror, uh, monster mats for captain's chairs, heavy duty trunk liner, and then another 695 for the captain's chairs and 200 bucks for the uh, Volkswagen puddle lights for a grand total of 48,825. Here's a look at those captain's chairs in the back. They feature a fold down armrest or fold up armrest right here. You have that on each seat and you have car seat hookups here and here. These seats are not heated. You have to go to the premium to get second row heated seats. But here's a look through from the back, from the middle seat to the front. Instrument cluster right there, center console, armrest, and a look up at that giant panoramic sunroof. Very nice. The Shetland beige interior gives this a very elegant feel. There's a look at the, the inset on the door panels back here and armrest, all Shetland. The carpet is all black. They at least thought about, hey, stains and mud and marks and things like that. So you got black carpet even though you have a Shetland interior. Over here on this side here, I'm gonna show you the sunshade. Sunshade goes up just like that and it's gonna keep your, the sunlight direct, directly off your kids. There's a look at those adjustable headrests from back here. Uh, you have it on both headrests there. The headrests on these seats are also adjustable. Down here for climate control, you have, uh, this is this can all be locked out up front, up there on the screen and controlled up there. So if you got rambunctious kids that don't, that don't wanna mind and uh, wanna play with buttons and things, you can actually lock these out. Two USB-Cs here, giving you a total of five USB-C connections. And then there is a three-prong three plug-in right there. The absolute absence of a transmission hump here. The engine sits low in the in the uh, uh, in the under the hood, so the transmission hump is minimized, giving you more legroom here. Very nice setup there. There's another vent right here, and here's a look at the back seats. They actually have the the uh, mats and the cargo blocks right here on this back seat, but there are two more seats there with an adjustable headrest and a sculpted roof line there with a dome light. So let's go take a look at the back. As we get out of the car here, you'll look at those 21-inch Brazelton wheels. Those are very nice. We'll open up the hatch here, and we're going to move those cargo blocks and those mats off of there. So here's a look at the license plate, plate bracket here. Uh, while I have those out, I'm going to show you your cargo cover, privacy cover, I should say. It's still wrapped in plastic right here. And then below this carpeted floor here is your spare tire. You just remove that little threaded guy there and pull that carpet out and your spare is below that. These seats have a steel reinforced back and black carpet on them to keep scuffs and marks down to a minimum. Same with the captain's chair seats there. So they thought of that too for stains and marks. Um, I'm gonna pull these cargo blocks back over the top here. So you get these cargo blocks, the cargo containment system and uh, the uh, monster mats all as part of the MDO package this back over there we go now these seats will fold flat just with the flick of a wrist there and then you do also have these little straps to pull up on these guys and pull them put them back in place and then I can actually pull on that strap there to make sure that cylinders uh, completely disappear um, that tells me that the seats not locked if the red is sticking up still reinforces I said to keep uh, impacts to a minimum or impacts uh, rear impacts if something's back here, it's not going to go through the seat and pierce someone's back or injure them uh, just by moving the seat not being strong enough to protect them. There's a look at that power lift gate. The car does come with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years, 50,000 miles, bumper-to-bumper. -bumper. Also, two years of free maintenance. Your 10 and 20,000-mile oil change will be covered by Volkswagen. And if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's here in St. Louis, you're going to get a 10-year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty as well as a third year free maintenance free of charge now that is a local deal only for that third year free maintenance so you'll have to come to our dealership to get that one taken care of here in st louis but the 10 year 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty is absolutely free no cost to you and it is nationwide if you have any questions about this car or any other, please give me a call at 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great day.